My name's Dr Andy Hogg. I work at the Australian National University and I'm a member of the ARC Centre of Excellence for Climate System Science. I work on the role of the ocean in climate change because it traps a lot of the heat associated with global warming and it also absorbs a lot of the carbon dioxide that, that humans emit. There's a lot of processes going on in the ocean which are very difficult to observe because the ocean's so large. We have a good understanding of how they work physically, which means that we can model them on a computer and try and understand them better uh, that way. The problem is that because they depend on very small scales and the ocean is very large, it's a very large computation to make. We're now integrating models that are perhaps 10 times more resolutions than we had two years ago. And what that allows us to do is it allows us to understand the vertical transport of, of nutrients which create phytoplankton blooms uh, in, in particular regions of the Southern Ocean. When I started this work about a decade ago, I was running on a machine which, where I'd use eight processors at once. At this facility, we have over 57,000 processors all hooked up together. We can currently use about three or 4,000 of them on one program. It allows us to run ocean models, which include more and more physical processes, and that allows us to get a, an understanding of, of the climate system, and in particular roles of, of small-scale processes that, that we couldn't do previously. Our work is really, I think, underpinning the improvements in climate models that we'll see in the next five years. Mm -hmm.